Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to Our Lady of Perpetual Help in Calistoga, California. I forgot my microphone. Would you believe? But that's okay. So, today is Thursday. Thursday of the first week of Advent. It also happens to be the first day of December. We shall pray for the following intentions. We shall pray for Mary Roslyn Cabanero. It's her birthday today. We also pray for those with cancer. We now pray for Norman Landsberg, Patrick Park, Tessie Lao, Daisy Hernandez. We pray too for um, Bethany Pham, Cynthia Ted. Um, June Pasqua, Michelle Morgan, and we include those who have asked us to pray for them. There are many, so we continue to pray for their intentions, including those who are undergoing depression for their healing. We pray too for um, the repose of the soul of Angel and Verga. He is a good friend of mine. He is my fraternity brother, and he lives in Toronto, Canada. He died a few hours ago. We pray for his soul. We also pray for Rodolfo Bong Chai Kung. He's a good friend of mine too. He died a few days ago. We pray for Acelia Corona, Romulo Maxino, Dr. Kenny Chan. These are people who have joined us online while they're sick and they have passed. We pray that the Lord may open the gates of heaven for them. We also pray for the beloved deceased of uh, the Stagnaro family. Marciano family and all our loved ones who have gone before us, that the Lord may open the gates of heaven for them. Let's worship Jesus in the blessed sacrament. Blessed be God. Blessed be God. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be His holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, your God, and true man. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be his Holy Spirit of Paraclete. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be the great Mother of God, Mary Most Holy. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be her glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be the name of Mary, Virgin and Mother. Blessed be Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Blessed be God and his angels and his saints. Holy God, we praise thy name.
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be done unto me according to thy word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we do the incarnation of Christ, thy Son, was made known by the message of an angel, made by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ, our Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Our Lady of Perpetual Help, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all and also with you. And now we come before the throne of our loving Father and ask Him to forgive us for the times that we have failed Him, failed one another and ourselves. And we say, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what I've done and in what I've failed to do, through my fall, through my fall, through my most grievous fall. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy, and let us pray. Stir up your power, O Father, and come to our help with mighty strength, that what our sins impede, the grace of your mercy may hasten. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. First reading from the book of Isaiah. On that day, they will sing the song of the land of Judah. A strong city, happy, he sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to that in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith, a nation of for a purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust, was trampled underfoot by the knee, by the footsteps of the poor. My dear sisters, my dear brothers, the good news of our Lord Jesus Christ. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 
Responsorial Psalm, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good, for his mercy and for his work. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's and just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Alleluia. I don't know whether you know St. Maximilian Kolbe. St. Maximilian Kolbe said once to his seminarians, he said, all of us are called to be saints. But for us to become saints, for us to become holy, we have to do the will of God. So he wrote down on the blackboard the letter W, a small W. And then he wrote another letter. This time it's a big W. And what did he say? He said, sometimes it is this little W that makes itself God. But Jesus is saying, you have to die in this little W so that the big W would be glorified. What does that mean? That means that our whole will sometimes become 
little becomes little God, especially if we do not listen to God's word, especially if we insist on doing what we want because we think that we know better than God, or we are so spoiled, we continuously complain that God doesn't listen to our prayers. But the Lord smiles at us and He would say to us, Okay, I'm not listening, but let me ask you, are you listening to me? Because all of what I have been telling you, this is not what I want for you. You are like a little child in a supermarket who cries and cries. And the mother says, no, you cannot have that because that's not good for your health. But the little boy or the little girl who insists, I want it, I want it, I want it. And so, God is saying, I don't want you to be a spoiled brat. There is this big W that you will have to focus on. You listen, you observe, and then act on it. This is what I want for you. This is my will for you. And as we go on in this life, trying to figure out what God's will is, through the gift of this sermon, we continue to pray and ask God, Lord, Send your spirit so that I may know what you want for me, not what I want for myself. And then we act on what God wants, not what we want. That is what the Lord is teaching us today. Because at the end of the day, when things get worse, that He has a better plan for us. All the storms of life, the rain, the flood will come, but our lives will not collapse. Everything will be in order because we have surrendered our will to God the Father. El Santo se llama Maximiliano Colo. Dijo a sus, a, a sus seminaristas que si quieren ustedes ser santos, los autores santos, hay que hacer la V, V minúscula. Pero hay que enfocar en la V mayúscula que es la voluntad de Dios no nuestra voluntad sino la voluntad de nuestro Dios porque a veces somos mal creados quejándose quejándose a nuestro Señor Dios ¿por qué Diosito no estás escuchándome nuestro Señor va a decir a nosotros, tú no escuchas a mí también, hay que escuchar y hacer mi voluntad, no su voluntad, porque cuando hay tormentas, dificultades en nuestra vida, en, en su vida, tú puedes y no, no, no puede caer en el suelo porque está haciendo mi voluntad. Mi gracia está siempre contigo porque eres muy obediente a mi voluntad. Escuchar y actuar la voluntad de nuestro Señor. Listen and do God's will.
then you will never ever collapse when things go wrong. In the name of the Father, not the Son, not the Holy Spirit. We bring to God the Father the longing of our hearts and our desires for the well-being of our families and the family of God. For the Church of Jesus Christ throughout the world for abundant grace in this holy season of Advent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders and public servants, for a heartfelt commitment to the good, to the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord. For those rebuilding after natural disasters, disasters, for generosity in those who remain unharmed, let us pray to the Lord. For the lonely, the lost, the poor and the sick, for hope, health, and healing, let us pray to the Lord. For all who gather at this table, for all who await the Lord's coming into their lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father in heaven, we ask you that you may continue to reveal your will for us and allow us, Lord, to obediently and humbly come before you. Listen to your word and do as you want for us. All these we ask to Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given in human hands, and may it will be comforts our bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share our humanity. Bendito sea el Señor, Dios del universo, por este día, fruto de la vida del trabajo, por de la vida que recibimos de generosidad de ahora que presentamos el Señor para nosotros, bendita de salvación. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and make peace with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, Lava de la Loma, bendito Señor, ti, y a mi pecado. para que ese sacrificio mil de ustedes sea agradable a Dios Padre Todopoderoso. Accept and pray, O Father, these offerings we may gather from among your gifts to us. And may what you grant us to celebrate the above need here below gain for us the price of eternal redemption. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. El Señor esté con ustedes. Levantemos el corazón. Demos gracias al Señor nuestro Dios. En verdad es justo y necesario es nuestro deber y salvación. Darte gracias siempre en todo lugar, Señor Padre Santo, Dios Todopoderoso y Eterno, por Cristo Señor nuestro. For He has seen at His first coming the lowliness of human flesh. And so fulfill the design before.
formed long ago and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. And so with angels tonight, angels, with thralls and dominions, with all the hosts and bars of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as we are in, we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Lord. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Lord. Santo eres en verdad, fuente de toda santidad, por eso te pedimos que santifiques estos pueblos. Con la edición de tu Espíritu de manera que sea para nosotros, cuerpo y sangre de Jesucristo nuestro Señor. El cual, cuando iba a ser entregado a su pasión, voluntariamente aceptada, tomó pan, dándole gracias. Lo partió y lo dio a sus discípulos diciendo, tomen y coman todos de él, porque esto es mi cuerpo que será entregado por ustedes. The mystery of faith, we proclaim the death of the Lord and profess the resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that we're taking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Robert, our Bishop, all the clergy and the religious. Remember Amelia Bella, Rodolfo Chaco, Dr. Kenny Chan, Barbara Ferreira, Brian the Cruz, the deceased members of the Stagnaro and the Marciano families, our loved ones who have gone before us. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and Saint Joseph, your most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint the rest of the child Jesus and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, Saint Maximilian Colby, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us come before our loving Father. Let us ask him to strengthen us and our will to do his, to do his will for us. As we say, our Father, who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And he is us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray for every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, Amen. the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And may the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always, and with your spirit. Let us offer one another the sign of peace. The bus, the favorite sign. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Peace. Lord Jesus Christ, in faith and in love and mercy, When Jesus was suffering, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he said to his Father, Take this cup away from me, Lord, but may your will be done. If we're carrying a big cross today, Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am now worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be to you. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe from everlasting. Behold, our Lord will come with power and will enlighten the eyes of his servants.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sign. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come with me spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Creo, Jesús mío, que estás realmente presente en el Santísimo Sacramento de la Verdad. Te amo sobre todas las cosas y deseo ardientemente recibirte en mi alma. Pero como ahora no puedo hacerlo sacramentalmente, ven al menos espiritualmente a mi corazón. Como si ya te hubiese recibido, te abrazo y me uno todo lo que no permita, Señor, que jamás me separe de ti. Soul of Christ, thank you, my body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, liberate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Separated from you, let me never be. From the evil one, protect me. At the hour of my death, all of me. And close to you, bid me with your saints, and we praise you forever and ever. Amen. Let us ask God to give worthy priests, brothers and sisters, to his holy church. O oh God, we earnestly beseech thee to bless this diocese with many priests, brothers and sisters, who will gladly spend their entire lives to serve thy church and to make thee known and loved. Bless our families, bless our children, choose from our homes those who are needed for thy own. Amen. Mary, Queen of the Virgin, pray for us, pray for our priests and religious, obtain for us many more. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seize and rule the souls. Amen. Let us pray. Descienda sobre los miembros de sus familias.